So we've made it to Artist Point in Yellowstone National Park. There's a beautiful waterfall behind me. Thousands of gallons of water are pouring over the precipice every second. It's amazing to look at, truly awe-inspiring. I know I'm using words like that a lot on this trip, but it really is beautiful. I thought this would be a great point to talk about the word overcome. It actually appears in the book. It's one of the titles of the chapter, and it's kind of a pivot point in the book. In this chapter, we talk about what it means to be an overcomer. It actually comes from a Greek word that you recognize. The sports company Nike used the word because it represents victory and to overcome every challenge. The word is Nike in Greek. So it's a cool way to remember what it means to be an overcomer. So an overcomer is someone who overcomes. It's someone who fights for victory in the Christian life. There's this great phrase from Paul that's in the book. You can check it out, but here's what he says. He says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. That's Romans 12, 21. And what that tells us is that there's no sitting on the fence in this situation. You will either be an overcomer or you will be overcome. And it's the overcomers that receive eternal reward. It's very important that we fight for victory every day. It makes me think of the first people that showed up to see this scenery. They had to overcome all kinds of obstacles to take in this view, but they did it because they were fighting for victory and they were looking for the amazing experience 